This show contains features that may offend some viewers. Viewers' discretion is advised. A series that involves school, students, and other sort of stuff. Now, when you're in school, guys, you know, you all think you guys are not having a good opportunity of doing nothing. You guys think all your classes you're taking are for nothing. When really, every class you're taking is for something. You know, you need to know one thing. Every class is boring. Well, maybe some are boring, some are not. You know, but every single one of them is for something. But your job, for that step of your own life is to pick which class would suit me. Which class would suit my own education better for something I want to do in the future. What would suit me best? But what pisses me off the most is that there is people if that fucking don't want to take any class. Because number one, they're lazy. They believe they don't deserve to be in class. They believe they don't have to be because they're too cool and everything like that. <laughs> wow. Seriously, you guys are fucking idiots. Seriously. Morons. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys an example right now. Okay? Because you guys don't just create yourselves a bad rep with people, but you create yourself a rep that creates you a bad appearance in your life. Either while you're in school, work, or just going down the street. I'm going to show you right now. It's for people who have their pants down. So, here you are right now with your pants down. Okay, I'm going to point out my pants during the show, I'm not going to lie, okay? This is you guys. That's you guys. That is all of you guys, okay? Walking down the street, doing your stupid little walk, you see that? Okay, I know that I'm doing that in the show. I know I originally don't do that, that shit. But that's how you guys fucking look ridiculous. I mean, come on. Would you? You as a parent, would you want your kid walking down the street like that? I mean, if that was my kid, I would take the, the metal bat and go BAM! Seriously, that is what pisses me off the most. It's kids who fucking do that. You know, and they'd rather spend their time pulling down those pants walking down the street instead of actually getting a fucking education. You know, as I was going to tell you is, is that there's kids around the fucking world who don't, can't afford to go to school, who can't afford to get their own education, who can't afford to get equipment for class like pencils and erasers, or can't afford to buy books to educate themselves. You know, but instead, us in North America, the US and Canada, instead, we're just showing the bad example by just skipping class. You know, we might as well be in those, those people's positions. Because I bet you if those people were in our positions, they would make more of a majority of a learning statement than we would. I know it sounds like I'm putting this all down, but in a sense I am. You know, we're not showing a good example by doing that, are we? You know, the government and the TDSB themselves pay, pays a lot of money for us to get these classes going, for us to get somewhere in this future, in this life that is so competitive, you know? And then all we're doing is fucking taking advantage of that shit and not even bother attending it. You know, what the fuck's wrong with people these days? You know, it just makes me ill when I see that. You know, so I mean, the point I'm just making this is that, what the, is the use of skipping class? I mean, you wanna make money? You wanna buy a car? You wanna save money to buy a house? Or have a family or be a bachelor, you know what? For everything, for food, water, and everything. You guys need money for that. You need money to support yourself. Because if you don't have money to support yourself, then who's gonna do for you? Your mama and papa? I mean, seriously. Are you boys and girls gonna suck on your mom's booby for the rest of your fucking lives? Like, seriously. Get a grip. Because you can't just go out and buy a chocolate bar. You can't just go out and buy a car or a TV or a couch without what? Money. Ding! That's the point I'm trying to make. You can't do anything without money these days. It's ridiculous. Money is basically the main priority, rather you think it is or not. Money is. You can't do nothing without money. You can't live without it. You can't even go on a bus or anywhere without it. For fuck's sakes. 
You know, you can even see stuff in the stores that are like 97 cents still. You know, my point I'm trying to make is you can't do nothing without money. You know, so if you're expecting yourself to skip class and expecting yourself 30 years old, living on the on the state of life and doing everything with your life with a ton of money and million dollars in your account, well, you know, how are you gonna do that when you have no work experience or no educational experience for yourself? Because instead of using your brain to educate yourself, you're educating your brain by smoking that weed and 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 clogging it up with shit, other chemicals. You know? What is the use of doing that in a sense, guys? Come on, think about it. Because I've seen people who did it. You know what they're doing now? They graduated last year of my old school. They wanted to become a mechanic. They wanted to do this. They wanted to do that. But you want to know what they're doing now? They're just sitting on their ass at home, smoking weed and selling weed. That's all they're fucking doing. They're not doing anything else. They're not being that mechanic like they always wanted to be. You know why? Because they choose not to be. They choose not to choose to go to that class. They choose not to take that course. Do you know why? Because they're lazy and they don't want to do it. I'm not going to say they don't have the ability to do it because every fucking human has the ability to do something they want to do in their life. Not one human being has a step that leads them backwards. It always leads them frontwards to do something they want to do. Not something that leads them not to want to do. Now, I'm going to read something to you people from two people who... Uh, wrote me themselves and told me they want me to put this in the video based on what they used to do, which they kind of still do and they kind of want to change themselves. So I'm going to read you one letter from a person I know from name, his name is Corey Summer. He says, my name is Corey Summer. I'm in high school and I'm a senior student. The past six months, I was skipping school because I didn't feel like waking up in the morning and I basically wanted to sleep in and do nothing. I was listening to what my peers had to say about school, on how important it is, and how much learning you need to accomplish to get a good job to make the big money. So my thoughts on this message is to please learn from my mistake and stay in school for the time being to get what you want in life. Before we get to the second letter, I like that. You know, I mean, the six months thing is pretty big, but I mean, come on, I mean, at least you're willing to do a change on yourself. I mean, if this boy can do a willing of change on himself to come back, you know, everybody can do the same fucking thing. You know? If he, if this guy can do it, why can't you do it? Like, come on. If he has the will, everyone's got the will. It's not if I have the will. It's not if I get up this late. It's not if I go to bed at this time and then. Everyone has the fucking will. You know? So if he can do it, everyone can do it. Second letter. From, uh, actually, this one is from my girlfriend, Jasmine Bullock. She says, My name is Jasmine Bullock. I'm currently not in high school right now. Because I was skipping class, barely coming to school, and also coming to school late all the time. The reason why I'm not in school anymore is because of all the stuff I've been doing while in school. But all the stuff I have committed that weren't good are because I have gotten bullied by other students and I wouldn't be the human right now if it wasn't for all those students who picked on me physically and emotionally. This, the message I want to present is that anybody who has gotten picked on, please make sure to always remember to be yourself and not others who expect you to be what they want you to be. P.S. I will be going back to school. Now what I say, I think that's an awesome message too. You know, at least, you know, the one thing I like that, that these two people have in common is that number one, they both are admitting the stuff that they did were wrong. They're both admitting that they, they weren't doing so well. They were off the track a little bit. You know what I'm trying to say? But the one thing I can tell about these two letters is that they know what they did was wrong and they want to make up for the shit that they did. You know, so for Corey Summer, I appreciate his own personality on what he was saying also. And for Jasmine, I appreciate also what she was saying at the same time. Because they both weren't doing well in school. I'm going to admit that. They weren't. They weren't. And now they have recovered themselves. And I wasn't doing so well in school either myself. 
I hate a school tool. I'm sorry. Two. <laughs> I know I made a mistake. But I'm serious. I <laughs> hate school too. I was getting picked on a lot in my life also. I was getting all this uh, sort of doubts about learning and doing something with my life because I thought I wasn't going to be able to do nothing. But at the same time, I had to wake up at one time and think, you know what? If I want to do this and that in my fucking life, then you know what? I need to fucking do something. I can't just sit on my butt and expect to play video games all my life and expect to have my parents help me. Because you know what? Your parents are willing to help you. But there's one thing you have to realize. They will always help you, but in the, in the back of their head, they're going to be thinking, did I teach this child? Or did I just give to this child all the time? Expecting him or her to ask for me all the time. You know? At the same time as you are getting this fantasy that I'm going to have my mommy and daddy do this for me all the time. You know? You have to say something to yourself. How do you think your mom or dad or just one parent is going to feel? You know? You're going to be getting, they're going to be getting this drip that they weren't good parents. And that, you know, what's the use of them, be, them being your parent if they didn't do such a good job? And you know, in your own head, they did do an awesome job on you and to others. But to themselves, they're going to think they didn't. Because they're supporting you. Where at by the age of past 18, you're, you pretty much know everything. You have your own place, whatever, you know. Probably have a girl or a guy, a kid by that time. You know, but at the same time, as this message is stating, you have to learn to do one thing. Get off up your ass and do something with your life. You may have doubts. You may have these images in your head that you're a nobody. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Every fucking human on this earth is a somebody. You would not be here if there wasn't a purpose for you. You know, you may not live in the best house. You may not wear the best clothes. You may not look like the best person. But you know what? Every single human here has the ability to do anything. Every single human here has the ability to do something about themselves. With themselves also. You want to be a mechanic? Go ahead. You want to be a caretaker? Go ahead. You want to do anything? Go ahead. Don't let nothing stop you because there's one thing you have to realize is that every little thing that comes to you, it could be just once in a lifetime. That could be your opportunity that day, that time, that day, that can give you the opportunity to do something with your life. Now, the only thing I can tell everybody is that please do something with your life. Alright? Anyways, that was Real Talk. Have a good day. Bye-bye. That day, that day, that day, that stop you. Because, I can tell everybody, is that it can mean things like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your pants down. And seriously, I mean, it may be a swag, it may be this, it may be that, but at the same time... <laughs>